Hey, tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Get your favorite tennis gear at TennisExpress.com today. In the history of the ATP Tour, only 19 players have had the honor of finishing a season as the year-end number one. And the latest player to join the ranks is Italy's Yannick Sinner, who locked it up in Shanghai, where the 23-year-old won his second Masters 1000 title of the season and seventh ATP title of 2024. At the moment, Sinner has a 65-6 and record and is running away from the field. As of October 14th, he leads number two, Carlos Alcaraz, by 4,100 points. Since 2004, when Roger Federer first finished a season as the year-end number one, only six other players have been able to do it. Federer managed it five times, Nadal also five times, Novak Djokovic scored eight number one finishes. The other three, Andy Murray in 2016, Carlos Alcaraz, of course, in 2022, and now Yannick Sinner. Only 10 players have finished as year-end number one multiple times, and we think that's a club that Sinner and Alcaraz will both join, given that they ran the table and won all four majors this year. Over on the women's side, the race not quite yet complete, but it looks like it's going to be Arena Sabalenka. Only 15 women have ever finished a season as the WTA's top-ranked player, and that list is topped by Steffi Graf, who, like Djokovic, did it eight times. Poland's Iga Swiatek has done it twice in 22 and 2023, but she's going to have to work some magic to do it again because Sabalenka has mounted a charge and is actually in a position to pass Swiatek at the finish line. Sabalenka is currently ranked number two, but just 69 points behind Iga. Iga, keep in mind, is defending 1,500 points at the WTA Finals. Sabalenka is only defending 625 points. Sabalenka also just claimed her third Wuhan title, so she is pretty much in the driver's seat. It is a race to the finish in the WTA. The finals, by the way, take place November 2nd through the 9th, so check that out. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time.